Hi, this is your teacher, Barbara Rademacher, and we're going to graph this logarithmic function right here in my math lab. Okay, first let's analyze this. The basic function is y equals log x, but we're transforming it. We have a vertical shrink, a horizontal shift, and a vertical shift. So you're going to have to review transformations if you haven't done so already and if you don't have it right on the top of your frontal lobe. Let's get started. Describe how the graph of f of x, this thing, can be obtained from the graph of a basic logarithmic function. Shift the graph of y equals log x, the basic graph, five units to the right or five units to the left. That's a horizontal shift. And horizontal shifts are always in the opposite direction from the sign in front of them. And there's a way you learned when you study transformations to analytically find out what that is it's going to be five units to the right. Then it tells us we shrink it vertically. Yes, we do, because one half is a fraction between zero and one. And then we shift it up seven units or down seven units. For the vertical shift here, the minus sign always says exactly what it means. Go down. So we're going down seven units. We're going to check the answer. Well done. OK. Now we're going to graph this. I click on the logarithm button and notice you're told what to do. Click the graph, choose a tool in the palette, and follow the instructions. Okay, I'll click the, the uh, graph and then I'll go to the logarithm tool and I'm told what that is. Then I read the, the yellow banner and it says to click on the graph. That's the graph of y equals log x, the basic graph. Now I'm going to transform it. The vertical shrink is 1 half, which is the same as 0.5. There is no horiz horizontal stretch or shrink. The vertical shift is down 7, so negative 7. And the horizontal shift is to the right 5, so it's positive 5. And the base already is 10. I'm going to save the graph, and then I'm going to check my answer. Bravo for me! OK, notice that the vertical asymptote of the logarithm was x equals 0, the y-axis, but we have shifted the, the graph 5 units to the right. So now my vertical asymptote is going to be y, x equals 5, x equals 5. Now, a vertical asymptote can never be crossed, but the graph gets closer and closer and closer to it. So I'm going to come over here and type a paren 5 comma and then notice that the graph goes to the right forever. So I will insert this infinity tool. And then 
I'll close my parentheses and check my answer. Fantastic! Okay, and I've already said this, the vertical asymptote is now x equals 5. Check your answer. Okay, we've got 100% correct. Talk to you later.